reference is on. When importing a reference, go to File, Import, Images, and select the reference from your computer. To line up our reference so we have each view in the right spot, we can use this tool here. Now we have a big X in the middle of our screen. We can use a peg to match each position to the center point of this X. That way our character won't be bobbing up and down when we go to rig it. Go to position your limbs. Make sure you do not move the individual pieces like this. This is going to mess up your pivot point and your tweens won't look good. Instead, move bigger groups first so your pivot point stays in its appropriate spot. The same principle goes with deformers. Don't use your deformers to make really big changes because then your pivot point is going to be out of place. Instead, move the whole group before you start moving your deformers. This should keep the pivot point in the right position. If you're having trouble seeing your reference because the quality is so low, we can select it, go to our camera view, press Ctrl Q, and move the quality slider to the max. Wow! Now it's easier to see what we're doing when we're rigging. If you want your eye to tween really nice from front to profile, try this out. Select the entire eye, and we'll squish it down really small like this. Zoom in, zoom in more, and make sure it is really, really tiny. So we can barely see it on the screen. We can grab it, move it back. Now when we tween, we get that nice effect with our eye. We extend the timeline, we can see just how good it looks. I'll make doing head turns a lot easier.